Is Warner Brothers' discovery showing signs of relinquishing support for Aquaman 2? The conspicuous absence of robust marketing for the impending release of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has sparked speculation about the studio's commitment, particularly in the wake of several DC box office setbacks in 2023. Despite the film's significant budget, exceeding $200 million, promotional efforts seem notably limited, with only sporadic appearances by lead actor Jason Momoa and unconventional collaborations, such as a partnership with Roblox. As the sequel to Warner Brothers' sole $1 billion grossing superhero movie prepares to debut in theaters on December 22, 2023, the promotional landscape appears surprisingly subdued. The customary full-court press by actors to generate interest in a big-budget superhero film seems lacking, raising concerns about Warner Brothers' Discovery's stance on the fate of Aquaman 2. The industry-wide disruptions caused by the strikes earlier in the year, where writers and actors fought for fair compensation, might offer a partial explanation for the lackluster promotion. The aftermath of the strikes may have impacted the original marketing plans for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Although actors, including Momoa, are now free to engage in promotional activities, scheduling conflicts, post-strike commitments, and the desire for a holiday break could have hindered their participation in traditional promotional avenues. The Marvels, a sequel to the billion-dollar grossing Captain Marvel, experienced similar challenges due to strike-related restrictions on actor promotions. This raises the question of whether Aquaman's subdued marketing could be linked to strike-related complications, affecting the ability of the cast to actively participate in promotional activities. Complicating matters further, the changes in the DC film landscape, marked by releases like Blue Beetle and established titles like The Flash and Black Adam facing underwhelming performances, could contribute to the lack of enthusiasm from both casual and passionate audiences. Economic considerations, such as the cost of theater tickets compared to streaming services, may be deterring audiences from rushing to cinemas for new releases. The intricate tapestry of interconnected stories in the DC universe may also be a factor, with die-hard fans willing to wait for streaming availability rather than rushing to theaters for standalone films. Warner Brothers Discovery might be grappling with the fear that another box office disappointment will tarnish the DC brand further. Additionally, financial constraints at Warner Brothers Discovery, evident in their recent losses and a focus on debt reduction, could be impacting their ability to allocate funds for extensive marketing campaigns. Despite the success of other ventures like Barbie, the studio's financial challenges in 2022 and 2023 may be reflected in their cautious approach to marketing Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. While Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's fate at the box office remains uncertain, the subdued promotion suggests a complex interplay of industry challenges, financial considerations, and strategic decisions by Warner Brothers Discovery. As the film's release date approaches, it remains to be seen whether these factors will impact its performance in theaters on December 22, 2023.